And here we are with the new 2024 TRD Pro 4Runner Intera. I ordered this uh, about a month and a half ago. After many, 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 many calls and dealer rigmaroles and all that, I finally found one and I purchased it without a markup. Uh, I've had it for about a week now, a little over a week. Did some changes, as I said in my last video, pulled some things off my my ter or, uh, my solar octane and threw those on here. So we have the old wheels and I put the 40th anniversary center caps, so they're bronze. Really kind of goes with the Terra theme. And then I also threw the traditional Rock Blocks XL. These are an olive drab. I, I'm going to order some Max Tracks Extremes for the roof uh, basket, roof, roof, roof rack. I put the, as I said in the last video, I bought RCI sliders for the uh, solar octane. So I threw the Predator steps on here because they had the hideous, just standard like steps with the silver on them. I don't know what in the world they were thinking. I would have just rather had none. And then, uh, what else? That's pretty much it for now, but it looks really good. Like, oh, I did put the, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, I did put the 40th anniversary badging on the, on the rear placard. They don't make one for TOD Pro, unfortunately, but that's fine. And then I also did the one on the Toyota as well. So they're like 125 bucks online, like the official Toyota part. You can just buy it from the 40th anniversary edition. You just gotta look up the SKUs online. And But yeah, these are the, the old new style wheels. So these are really good looking. They make these also in bronze, which I'm debating on going that route or if I wanna kinda of go the route of my Solar Octane with the Relations Race Wheels, the Monoforge series. I finally got the protection rings on those. So I threw those on, they look really, really good. I don't think I'm gonna do a tire carrier on this one. I'm not sure yet, but probably not. And if I do, I'm gonna try out maybe the Westcott designs, something different where they have like the, the split on the hitch. Um, yeah, these are really easy to take off and, and put on, by the way. So if you order them, don't think it's a very difficult install. It's literally just a couple bolts and they go into the body, but not the frame, which is something I didn't realize beforehand. And then I took off. So these actually had the, the old school, old school TRD Pro uh, wheels with the red center cap, but it's like a big, it's almost like that whole, that whole center piece is not just a little circle like that. Um, the red really doesn't go with the look, in my opinion, so I kind of just got rid of that. Um, I have them in my garage, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with them yet. And those uh, Nitto tires are not very good. I've used them extensively uh, last winter, and they were not very good. I was not very satisfied. So uh, these are the KO3s. These are 28570 R17s. Uh, they fit fine. I just literally took this wheel and tire setup minus the center cap off of the solar octane I had and I had the same mud flaps as well these will not work uh oh well they'll work but you're gonna get some rubbing if you don't take off the stock mud flap so that was kind of the first reason why I did that but also I think these look way better and they're actually way more functional as well on actually protecting your vehicle from getting annihilated with rocks and, and such and destroying your paint especially for this one like I'm not going to risk this one. I mean, I just kind of did like this little trail over here, but I'm going like two miles an hour, so there's not much kicking up. And these aren't crazy with chucking rocks at low speeds, so. But yeah, it's only got 400 miles and like 350 of those are driving back from the dealership because I had to go very, very far away. Now, funny thing about these, people are starting to get the idea, uh, and I mean people as in dealers. Dealers know, like if you call some dealer and you ask for a Terra, especially the Forerunner, definitely the Forerunner, they're going to be, oh, you know, this guy is trying to collect the last year, you know, big markup, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. I got that on so many dealers. I called basically every dealer in my region, probably between 20 and 30, I'm not even kidding you, uh, looking for this truck. I originally found a um, ice cap TRD Pro 24 and I put a deposit on that and then I still kept at it, right, finding the Terra and eventually I found a dealer who had one coming in that wasn't sold yet um, and that, you know, it was just like just in production. So 
there's a long lead time on it still, but it was available. And uh, they wanted a $5,000 markup. So I actually ended up doing a multi-vehicle deal with them. So they ended up taking the markup off. And I actually got the truck, which is pretty awesome. But it wasn't just like they were willing to do it. I did have definitely, there was a lot of money involved in making that happen. So, but yeah, no markup. I did pay sticker, but you're not probably going to be able to get one of these under that if you can find one at all. And they would now, you know, getting into almost September of 24, model year end is getting in close, right? There's a long, long lead time from the time these are produced, the time they get on the ship to the time they get uh, hit the terminal and get to the dealer. So you're, you're definitely running out if you want to get one of these firsthand without being used. So I'll probably just keep this one forever. I mean, in all transparency, it's just such a good looking truck. It's the end of an era. It's all, you know, none of this little four banger um and the new one the inline four cylinder twin turbo or turbocharged um just not for me um the dealer actually offered me a mud bath allocation for the new one and i said i might be interested in it but i probably won't take it i think the color will be cool but i'm not really sold on it so uh the the new generation i think the color will be fine but uh, I'll keep this one probably forever. I think this is going to be a very valuable truck. You know, like looking at the, the FJ Cruiser Trail Teams Edition and that Cavalry Blue, they they go for so much money. I mean, it's just incredible because it's it's kind of the last of the last, right? It's 2014. It's, it's, it's a special color. It's a limited production. Very similar to this truck, right? It's the, the rarest color on the most limited trim on the last model year with the last of this platform. And again, dealers know that, you know, they've seen it with the Tundra, they've seen it with the, the 200 series Land Cruiser, they've seen it with the Tacoma. People want the very last of something, and uh, this is it. So, I thought you guys might find it interesting. Um, yeah, so, awesome truck, super happy I finally found one, and this will be uh, living next to the rest of the, the Toyota garage, so... Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.